Hey guys today the talk gonna made by Stark. You can join our anime family by subscribe and share this content to grow our family. The Suicide Squad features a mishmash of bizarre supervillains teaming up for the greater good, including the insane looking weasel. At DC Fandom, James Gunn showed up with a first look at his upcoming The Suicide Squad that included a behind the scenes video focused on the making of the film. Along with the clip, Gunn also unveiled the lineup for his new Task Force X, with some new faces being added to the mix. While Joel Kinnaman's Rick Flagg, Jay Courtney's Captain Boomerang and Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn are all set to return, Gunn is filling the rest of his roster with a bunch of B-list villains, including Savon, Polka Dot Man, Bloodsport, King Shark, The Thinker and Peacemaker. However, the standout addition to the team has to be Weasel, played by Sean Gunn. It would easy not to be familiar with Weasel, as he's only been involved in one major comic book story in his minuscule history in DC Comics. However, he also had a run-in with the Suicide Squad, even crossing paths with two of his eventual live-action teammates. John Monroe, aka Weasel, made his debut in the pages of The Fury of Firestorm 38-39 by Jerry Conway, Raphael Kionan and Ian Akin. In these books, a new villain is killing people on a university campus, tearing them to pieces with little remaining. As it turned out, Monroe was a professor on campus who had an intense hatred of some of his colleagues. He believed they made fun of him when they were all students in college together, although most of the professors, including Martin Stein, aka Firestorm, had no idea who he was. Eventually, Firestorm was able to beat him and sent him to prison for the murders. Weasel's imprisonment led to him taking a role in the Suicide Squad team a few years later. In the 1988 DC special The Doom Patrol and Suicide Squad by John Ostrander, Paul Kupperberg, Eric Larson, Bob Lewis, Steve Haney and Carl Gafford, Weasel goes on his first mission with Task Force X. President Ronald Reagan orders Amanda Waller to either rescue or kill Hawk, who was taken prisoner while running guns to the Contras in Nicaragua, so she puts together the Suicide Squad. However, another high-ranking official at the meeting doesn't think Waller's team can handle it and contacts the Doom Patrol as reinforcements. Rick Flagg leads a team that includes Mr. 104, Psy Thinker and Weasel into Nicaragua. They head into battle but end up fighting the Doom Patrol before they ever have to face the men who captured Hawk. In the fight, Task Force X faces almost total annihilation. Only Rick Flagg survives, and after he believes the Thinker to be dead, he takes his helmet and uses it to control Negative Woman. However, before he takes it off, he uses it to kill Weasel after the monstrous villain wouldn't stop killing people. Rick Flagg and the Doom Patrol eventually rescue Hawk, but Weasel is left dead behind enemy lines. This story is important because it was not Weasel's only mission with the team, but Gunn has said that his movie is inspired by Ostrander's Suicide Squad run. With Rick Flagg and the Thinker set to appear in the movie, it's possible what happens on that mission in Nicaragua is going to be adapted for live action, especially since Joel Kinnaman made it clear in the BTS video that fans shouldn't get too attached to the new members of the team. Written and directed by James Gunn, The Suicide Squad stars Margot Robbie, Viola Davis, Joel Kinnaman, Jay Courtney, David Dastmalchian, John Cena, Joaquin Cosio, Nathan Fillion, Mayling Ng, Flula Borg, Sean Gunn, Juan Diego Bato, Storm Reid, Pete Davidson, Taika Waititi, Alice Braga, Steve Aguirre, Tinashe Cajese, Daniela Melchior, Peter Capaldi, Julio Ruiz, Jennifer Holland, Idris Elba and Michael Rooker. The film arrives in theaters August 6, 2021. So that's all guys if you like this video hit a like and don't forget to subscribe to A4 Anime.